President, welcome to SPM Speaking, and this is the Trangano Trial Paper. As usual, before we begin, remember there are certain things that you have to uh, take notice of. For the speaking paper, remember that you need to speak loud and clear, and then use full sentences for your answers. And then use cohesive devices and linkers or the sentence connectors. And for part two, which is the individual long term, make sure that you read the questions or the four bullets and confirm whether you're using present tense or past tense. And for part three, which is a discussion, always look and communicate with your partner. And lastly, number six, you need to know the timing for part two and part three. Now let's begin with part one. So the interlocutor will say, good morning, I am, for example, Madam Gan, and is, this is my colleague, Madam Rina, she'll just listen to us. First of all, we would like to know something about you. What's your name? So you can answer, my name is Alisa. If your name is longer, for example, uh, your name is, my name is Siti Aisha bin Hussein. So you can say, you can call me Siti. And what's your name? So your partner will answer, I am. So here also you have to mention your name. For example, my name is Hassan bin Abdullah. Where do you live or come from? You can say, I live in Taman Permai Jaya. How do you come to school? So the answer can be, I come to school by car, or I come to school by a school van, or I come to school by train. Next, for part one, phase two. Now I'm going to ask you something about clothing. The first question, what is your favorite outfit? So you can answer, my favorite outfit is baju kurung. I like cotton ones. Second question, where do you buy your clothing? So, candidate B can answer, I buy my clothing from a shop located in, in Seremban Prima Shopping Mall. The third question, what colour do you usually choose when you buy your clothing? So, candidate A can answer, I usually choose to buy clothing which is in red or blue. And the last question, what types of clothing do your friends wear? So here candidate B can answer, my friends like to wear various types of clothing, but I often see them in t-shirts and jeans after school. Let's move on for part two. So here candidate A will get this page of the booklet. You have the question, an electronic gadget. Talk about an electronic gadget. You should say what it is, how the gadget looks like, if it is popular, why? Why having an electronic gadget is important to teenagers? So you can answer. My favorite gadget is my smartphone. It is Samsung Galaxy Z. It is foldable and comes in three colors, black, white, and gold. Moreover, the camera can also take clear and brilliant photos. In my opinion, it is a popular gadget as many of my friends are also using it. And the monthly sales prove that it's one of the top sellers now. Other than that, the great features of the phone also makes it a favourite. I think it is important for teenagers to have an electronic gadget like a mobile phone because nowadays they often communicate with family members and others and teens are active on social media too. Therefore, they can take photos and post online as well as send messages faster. Then candidate B will be asked a question, what electronic gadget do you have? What do you use it for? So candidate B can answer, I have a smartphone. I use it to communicate with my parents, siblings and also my friends. I can talk to them, send messages and in addition post my activities on my social media. Okay, in part 2, now it is for candidate B. So candidate B will get this page of the booklet, My Favourite Celebrity. Talk about your favourite celebrity. You should say who the celebrity is, when you started to like him or her, is he or she 
if he or she is famous. Why? In what way he or she motivates teenagers? So here you can answer. My favourite celebrity is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I started to like him when I watched the movie Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. In addition, he is very famous because that movie crossed over 400 million US dollars and it is the biggest hit of Johnson's career. Furthermore, Dwayne Johnson motivates teenagers as he sets good example. He always shows up on time during shoots and he gets along with all directors and actors he works with. Other than that, he is a charismatic actor. He loves his fans and appreciates them. And for candidate A, you will get the question, who is your favourite celebrity? Why do you like him or her? So you can answer, my favourite celebrity is Jungkook from the group BTS. He is not only the most searched BTS member on YouTube, but also the only member of the band who surpassed 15.6 million views on TikTok. Jungkook is extremely talented and most of his songs and videos have become huge hits. Now let's continue with part 3, which is the discussion. Here you will get a mind map where you have 6 bubbles. So here, candidate A can choose 3 bubbles, 1A, 2A and 3A, and candidate B can choose the next 3. So you have 1B, 2B and 3B. So let's start with the conversation. So here, candidate A can say, let's start our discussion on how to build self-confidence. In my opinion, when we set a goal for ourselves, such as to win a match, we work to achieve the goal. Therefore, we also have more confidence of ourselves. And B can answer, I agree with you. From my point of view, we can build self-confidence when we form positive habits. For example, like not being late to school or classes and passing up homework on time. And then... A can say yes. Moreover, we need to identify our weaknesses. For, by doing so, we can try to improve our traits. And then we have B. So B can say, in addition, it's good to stay motivated. Those who strive to achieve goals are more likely to be successful and upon completing the goals will feel encouraged and more motivated. These feelings of success boost confidence. Now it's A's turn. You can say other than that, it's also good to find supportive friends. These friends encourage and motivate you to do well in your academic performances and also games. And lastly, it's B's turn. So here we can say, wow, that's a great idea. My last suggestion is we need to think positive. Positive thinking leads to a good self-esteem and also proven to be effective in improving our moods, health and ability to solve problems. Now, in part 3, the second section is decision making. So here the interlocutor will say thank you. Now you have about a minute to decide together which is the best way to build self-confidence. So here remember, this is making decision. So A can say, now we need to decide which is the best way to build self-confidence. From my perspective, the best way is to think positive. And B can ask, why do you say so? A can answer, self-confidence is an attitude about our skills and abilities. We know our strengths and weaknesses well. And we have a positive view of ourselves. With positive thinking, we achieve emotional balance, which actually helps the brain to execute functions properly. So B can say, I agree with you. I believe that positive thinking renders a positive effect on health as well. It lowers stress and improves our overall well-being. Even when we fall sick, our body recuperates faster. Positive Positivity helps boost our confidence and resilience as well, making it easier for us to handle stress effectively. Dear students, the last part in part 3 is further discussion. The interlocutor will say, you have been talking about ways to build confidence. Now, let's hear your opinion on this. Teenagers are confronted with a variety of tough issues. How can self-confidence help them to deal with such challenges? So A can start. 
I think it is important for teenagers to learn how to deal with challenges. Self-confidence helps them by making them feel they can make safe, informed decisions and avoid people and situations that aren't right for them. And B can answer, yes, I agree with you, Aina. Tough issues range from dealing with ch changes to their physical appearance to being accepted in friendship groups. If teenagers are confident, they are also more likely to be assertive, positive, engaged, enthusiastic and persistent. Therefore, teenagers with low confidence are less likely to join in activities, more likely to hold back in class and might be more willing to give in to peer influence. Now let's continue. A will say, in my opinion, having confidence helps you to get through your challenge, to break barriers and to reach your goals. If you are not mentally prepared and do not believe in yourself, then you will not be able to rise to the occasion and jump the hurdles that stand in your way. B can answer, yes, that's a brilliant idea. For example, a confident teenager who has friendship problems might be upset for a little while, but then they realize that they can bounce back from the sadness they are feeling and focus on the positive aspects of their life, like other friends and family. If teen if teens feel okay about themselves and also know that they can cope when things are hard or things that don't go right, they are likely to have more confidence to try new things and tackle difficult situations. It's a positive cycle. Then B can answer yes, that's a good explanation. To conclude, as teenagers search for their place in the world, many struggle through situations that challenge beliefs about themselves. Self-confidence helps them Re feel re ready for life experiences. They are more likely to move forward with people and opportunities. And if things don't work out at first, confidence helps them try again. Dear students, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have benefited from this lesson. So see you in another speaking lesson.